This video explains how to get the start and end of a week given a datetime object in the Python programming language. So without too much talk, let's dive into the Python code. As a very first step for this tutorial, we need to import the datetime module, as you can see in the first line of code. And then we also need to create an example datetime object using the datetime constructor, as you can see in the second code box. And in this case, I'm creating a datetime object, which is called myDT. And we can print this datetime object using the print function below the code box. And then you can see that our example date is the 21st of June 2024 at 10, 12, 53. Now, if we want to get the start and end days of this date, we also need to import time delta from daytime as you can see in the third code box. And then in the next step, we need to use the date function to truncate the time component from our date, as you can see in the fourth code box. So after running these lines of code, a new data object called myDTTrunk is created. And we can print this updated data object using the print function. And then you can see that we have removed the time component from our daytime object. Now, if we want to get the first day of the week corresponding to this date object, then we can apply the time delta function in combination with the weekday function, as you can see in the fifth code box. So in this case, I'm using our truncated date and I'm subtracting from this the output from the time delta function. And I'm storing the output of this in another data object that I'm calling start of week. And then I'm printing this start of week date below the code box. So after running these lines of code, you can see that the 17th of June 2024 is returned. And this date is actually the first date of this week. Now, if we want to get the end of this week, we can use this start of week data object once again, as you can see in the next line of code. So in this line of code, I'm using the start of the week and I'm adding to this the time delta function. And in this function, I'm specifying days to be equal to six. And then I'm storing the output of this in another data object that I'm calling end of week. And I'm printing the end of the week using the print function below the code box. So after running these lines of code, you can see that the end of this week is the 23rd of June 2024. That's all I wanted to explain in this video. In case you want to learn more on this topic, you may check out my homepage statisticsglobe.com because on my homepage, I have recently published a tutorial in which I'm explaining the content of this video in some more detail. I will put a link to this tutorial into the description of the video so you can find it there. If you have liked this video or if you have any questions, let me know in the comments section below. I'll try to respond to all comments as soon as I can. Furthermore, make sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel to get notified about future video releases. I have already published about 500 videos on this channel and I'm releasing new videos on a daily basis. Thanks a lot for watching, see you in the next video.